Ceramides are very important for our skin. They are anti-aging because they keep our skin hydrated and therefore it's able to fight wrinkles better. It doesn't wrinkle as fast. But most importantly, ceramides protect our skin barrier. So if you have issues like acne, redness, itching, pigmentation, uneven skin tone, um, dullness on your skin, it is a sure shot sign that whatever skincare you're using is not giving you the ceramides that your skin needs. Given the fact that all of us are using so many actives and we are out in the UV radiation so much, you know, and this pollution in the air, it's a very good idea to make sure that your skincare has enough amount of ceramides and peptides both of which are incredibly important for the health of the skin. Two ceramide moisturizers from The Minimalist with ingredients that I can't pronounce. Maybe one I can try. It's got ceramide 0.3% with Bisa Balol. This is an ingredient that we've been familiar with. And the other one has got ceramide 0.3% with an ingredient that I had never heard of before or can pronounce. It is supposed to be an extract of uh, green tea and very calming and soothing. This moisturizer is packed with some brilliant ceramides and some really good mix of emectants, emollients. You know what, let's step back to what should moisturizers really have. Now moisturizers in the end, the whole formulation, apart from having these few actives, are a basic mix of five things. The first one, humectants. They attract water to the skin. So you're looking at aloe, hyaluronic acid. Then there are emollients which lock this water into the skin. This emollient could be any form of fatty acids or rich oils that kind of prevent TW, TEWL or trans epidermal loss of water. The third ingredients are lipids. Lipids kind of strengthen your skin barrier. Then there are the NMFs or the natural moisturizing factors which make sure that a skin is capable of being moisturized, capable of being able to extract the goodness from all the ingredients that it's got applied on or the ones that are available within the skin itself. So basically NMFs really show how strong or healthy your skin barrier is. And lastly are water locks. Water locks kind of make sure that our skin is able to absorb the water. So there's a whole reaction happening when you apply the moisturizer. There's water being attracted, it's being locked, the skin barrier should be able to absorb the water properly, it should be healthy enough to use those ingredients well and also so the barrier is strengthened to kind of make sure that just the goodness enters the skin and not the bacteria or the irritants enter the skin. And that is why moisturizers are such an important part of skincare. But let's first talk about the similarities. Both these moisturizers are priced at 549 for 30 grams, a little expensive. <laughs> But look at the formulation. The formulation has a very good, well-balanced mix of ceramides, cholesterol and fatty acids, all of which combine to make sure that the benefits that we spoke about earlier are well received by our skin. And it's got ceramide 1, 3, 6 and 11. Ceramide 1 is ceramide EOC, ceramide 3 is NP and ceramide 611 is EOP. So dry skin is different from dehydrated skin. Dehydrated skin can be skin that's going to be itchy, can, is going to be red, can be inflamed, can just not feel comfortable. This particular moisturizer will help with the dehydrated skin as well. So if you have dry skin plus skin that's irritated, red, inflamed and it's just not letting you feel comfortable, this is the moisturizer you're looking for. It's got great hydration coming from butyline glycol, it's got visabal oil of course, then it also has petrolatum which will make sure that your skin barrier is well maintained. It's got allantoin which is a calmer, it also has the ceramide, ceramide NP, ceramide EOP, ceramide NS and ceramide AS along with ceramide AP. The ceramide 0.3% with the unpronounceable ingredient also has a similar formulation. It also has ursolic acid, it's got a saturide isomerate, it also has all the ceramides, NP, EOP, NS, AS and AP as well. Along with that, it also has cholesterol so make sure that your skin barrier is getting the help of ceramides, fatty acids and cholesterol to make sure that your skin barrier is well protected. They are different in a few actives. For example, the Visabarol moisturizer is meant for dry skin. It also has ingredients that will help your dry skin to, to one, enjoy the formulation better and also to make sure that the barrier is retained well. Both of these formulations are 
very gel in their format. I was expecting the Bisa Bowl, which is meant for dry skin, to be a little more creamy, but it is surprisingly gelish in its form and gets absorbed very beautifully into your dry skin. It gives you the hydration and the moisturization without making your skin look gummy. I actually found this moisturizer, which is actually meant for oily skin, work better on my skin as compared to the one which is actually meant for my skin. I have dry skin, but my skin somehow enjoyed the unpronounceable ingredient moisturizer. Let me just try it. Medica Socide. Medica Socide. Ceramide 0.3%, much better than it enjoyed the Bisa Balloon. Could be that my skin is feeling a little oilier because Hyderabad is getting warmer. You know, our skin keeps changing as the weather changes or, you know, the humidity in the environment changes. But I kind of enjoyed that more. Let me know which has been your favorite moisturizer. I think Ceramide is incredibly important in our skincare. And whether we have the redness, irritation or you know, your skin feeling dry and stretchy, it's just good to have ceramides to kind of make sure that a barrier never comes to a point where it gets damaged. Because repairing a damaged barrier, or sometimes if you don't recognize that your barrier is damaged, can cause pigmentation in the long run. So, you know, you, you might think the redness, irritation is happening because of some product, but actually might be happening because the barrier is damaged. So it, I just personally feel it's better to have ceramides in your skincare to kind of make sure that your barrier is mostly protected because hell we use a lot of ingredients and all actives when used excessively or you know can sometimes even just react on your skin even if they worked out for you before and actually damage your barrier so it's just a good idea to have ceramides and peptides in your skincare and i love the fact that these moisturizers now have the skin type written on them right up front because that is so incredibly important. Let me know what your experience has been with the moisturizers. For more on this, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.